Well, welcome to a very beautiful morning here in Kentucky. We have got green popping up everywhere. We've got the yellow flowers on the bushes. We have got Miles back here on a whip getting ready to uh, perform for you. And uh, we've got these beautiful flowers already blooming on the trees. Birds are chirping. It's hard to believe that right now our state and our country is going through a, a crazy time with the virus. Well, right now our family, we're supposed to be in uh, on tour. We're supposed to be in Arizona performing for folks out there. Well, we can't be because, well, everything's closed down. So we decided why not put everything that we do on on tape. Well, okay, that's aging me a little bit on video. And to start off, we're going to have a little bit of Miles doing some bull whipping. Then I'm going to do a little magic for you. And uh, throughout the week, I'm going to teach you magic tricks. I'm going to uh, have some giveaways for you. And we're just going to have a good time right here in Kentucky without having to have to travel all over the country and... Uh, Enjoy this time in spite of the fact that uh, we got this crazy virus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from the backyard of the Kent Family Magic Circus, we give you Calico Miles. Hey, Miles, I just realized something. With all these parents having kids at home, you might be available for babysitting. If that hits me, it's going to be so terrible because it's wet. You see, you called that practice? And I filmed it anyways. Butthole. <laughs> <laughs> so th those are what fine Chinese finger traps, right? I said if you don't want the shot to keep, just cuss, okay? No. <laughs> What's that? I said if you don't want the shot to keep, just cuss. You won't use it. Mother bleeper. <laughs> no, I can bleep things. Sack of no, Victor, you could, Victor, no, I think Victor should just come in like looking like this. Because like he's a lumberjack and he don't care. <laughs> Well, as I told everybody when I was announcing this, they're going to see the back scenes as well as the front scenes. You know, on, on the front scenes, you get to see you guys hitting everything perfect. And the, these scenes right here, you might get hurt. All right. Tell you what. Put those things down. Grab the paper out. and. Let me get on the ball. You want to get on the ball? That's right. We have a ball. This right here may look like it's just a big kid's ball, but it's really just this big plastic thing. It's called a walking globe in the circus world. And uh, you can't get it at Walmart. you got to order it from walkingglobes.com. I, I don't even think that's a real store. See, I trust you way more than Victor. This is great. Oh, yeah, you've done it. Wait a minute, what does that say? Don't hit me. Has he hit you before? Many. Oh, man. Nope, never. Many. Never hit my sister before with a bullet. It's so much scarier from this angle. Woo! Hey, get a little closer. Get a little closer. Woo! You can tell it's wet because it just yanked it right out of her hands. Closer! Here we go. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Just a quarter of an inch left. Can her brother hit it without hitting his sister? No, she's not stupid. Victor, get off your phone. 
He's got a girlfriend now, and that means he's got to check his phone every five minutes. Now the whole world knows. It's all a lie. <laughs> Way. All right, so those are Chinese fingers. Don't, don't get them all antsy up. He's got finger, go uh, Chinese point. finger traps. He puts one in each ear. And uh, by the way, each of those finger traps going in his ear actually does have an ear plug in it so that when it cracks next to his ear, uh, he... What? You have an ear plug in your... We do that? <laughs> can... uh, wait, there's... My ears could... What? Just... Nobody told me that my ears were hey, at risk here. No more about it. Stick it in your mouth so the people can enjoy something. Okay. Oh, very nonchalant. What? What? Take, take, take a bow. Oh. While we're waiting for the kids to get set up for other things, I thought I'd give you a little tour of things. This right over here is something that uh, Victor likes to build on uh, on the site. This right here is some kind of a catapult machine that he built. It uses ropes down there at the bottom. And he puts things in it and then launches it. And that monstrosity that you see in front of you with... Amelia dancing in the background and my coffee sitting there on a log that is actually a setup for practicing knife and um, axe throwing that they enjoy doing as you can see they uh, they do it a lot now knife and axe throwing is something just like bull whipping that you shouldn't be trying at home everything that we do we have got years of practice and we have, over the years, met so many people who've taught us how to do things properly and safely that, um, well, we can do it without hurting ourselves. Please don't try anything that looks dangerous that we do at home, especially when we start bringing out the fire. I just mentioned a moment ago that uh, anything that we do that looks dangerous, especially with fire, do not try at home. We have experience. We've been trained by professionals. What you're about to see is pretty gosh darn awesome. Don't do it at home. Hey. I promised them awesome, Victor. Woo, that was awesome. And that's how you blow it out. I am not a coin magician. Um, I'm not even a card magician. I am a, well, a ringmaster. Um, but I was going through all of my stuff, and I came across something that is pretty old-fashioned. It's called an Okito box. And what it is is basically a little brass box built to hold, well, 50-cent coins. Amazingly... Uh, it can also hold <laughs> old English pennies. Now, it's called the Okito box, though it was invented by a guy named Theo Bamberg. Now, Theo Bamberg was not Asian, but back in the 1920s and 19-teens, uh, magicians often dressed in, uh, in the uh, wear of the Middle East or the uh, Far East, you know, because it was magical. And um, what he would do is he took this, this this coin and or these coins and he would cover them up with the little lid just like that. Then what he would do is he would take the whole box, put it on the back of his hand, and saying some well, he would come up with some mystical words like by the powers of Fu Manchu, and then he would tap it and the coins would fall right through. And then what, what you would end up having is an empty box and all the coins on the table. Now, over the years, magicians have come up with tons of routines with this, 
And I encourage some of you, if you can get a hold of one of these in a magic shop, to get one, learn how to do it, and then come up with a whole bunch of routines on your own. Because like I said, I'm not a master of this, but I thought it would be fun to introduce it to you. And then maybe you can go out and get really good at it and fool me someday. Share that with you, something new and different. One other thing that I have here is a handkerchief, and they call it Hiram the Hilarious Haunted Hank. Um, some people call it Glorpy, and basically it's just a, a colorful handkerchief. And uh, you could uh, fold it up into like an envelope, and then you tell everybody there are ghosts and spirits just about everywhere, and you can catch them. Now, these ghosts and spirits just aren't humans. They're squirrels, they're rabbits, they're hamsters. In fact, right here, right, right here, there's a little hamster one right here, and I'm going to put them right in here. Just going to put them right in there. And uh, then by locking them up in there, you can sit there and say, Glorpy! Glorp! Glorp! Oh. Try that again. Glorpy, are you there? Glorpy! Glorp! Oh. He only performs a couple of times. He's kind of shy.